Lance Hall here for Let's Do With Lance Hall. Happy to welcome Marios from Night Rage, Skyping in from Greece today. How you doing, Marios? Uh, thank you, man. Uh, thanks for the invitation. Everything is good. Nice weather here in Thessaloniki, Greece, and happy to talk about our new album, upcoming album, actually, Wolf to Man. Yeah, coming out March 29th on Despo's Records. I have heard an advanced copy. It is fantastic stuff, Marios. Thank you very much. Appreciate uh, the fact that you like it, and I really hope the listeners, our fans, and our friends around the world and in America, especially, will like the album and uh, give it a chance. You know, because we worked really hard for that album, and we are very proud of the, how it uh, uh, ended up sounding. Yeah, I like to start my interviews with with a little bit of a trip to the record store, a good old fashioned trip to the record store. Say I'm going in March 29th, and there in the new release. Uh, rack is I see this CD or, or a vinyl copy of this band Night Rage and I pick it up and I look at it and the first thing that jumps out at me is the name of the band can you give me just a brief background on, on the name Night Rage yeah I mean the name we got uh, we got this name from our my old band Exhumation was a melody death metal band in Greece and we did three albums so that's that name comes from the last album, one song from the last uh, exhumation album called Traumaticon. We had a song called Night Rage, and because this band disbanded in the uh, late 2000, I wanted to, you know, keep continuing playing this kind of uh, melodic death metal uh, music uh, we're doing with Night Rage, and so it was kind of a continuation from my old band, Exhumation, to the new band, Night Rage. Cool. The second thing that jumps out jumps out at me is the title of the album and the cover art that is just absolutely striking. Can you give me a little background on those two things as well? I'm pretending I'm a new fan, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, the, uh, the album cover is being done by our friend Vangelis Petikas, a revolver, revolver uh, design. He's a very good, uh, very talented artist, very good artist. And we had this concept about Wolf to Man that talks about the fact that as humanity, we're on the edge of, of, the, of the road, on the end of the road, and we are ready to jump on the chaos we have created as humanity, as human beings, and all that stuff. And we need to accept that as a fact, you know, and there is mm -hmm. no turning back. So mm -hmm. the, actually, the cover shows that, uh, you know, that we are all prey and are, uh, we're against each other and we're killing our brothers and all that stuff. We're doing bad things in this world, unfortunately, you know. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to put portray that in the, uh, with this kind of cover. It's kind of brutal, but it's uh, the reality we're living in, I think. You know? Exactly, exactly. So I bought the album and I've taken it home and I've listened to it and I've been completely blown away by it. And I've got a couple of questions on some songs that, that really jumped out at me. Um, first one was Starless Night. Loved the intro, just a killer intro. Great way to open things. I thought that was fantastic. Yeah, it's more of a, you know, a very uh, dark kind of intro, you know, we, we wanted to, to have this nice, uh, you know, uh, opening for the, for the song, it's just the intro for the song, and uh, then we, you know, go to more the, towards more the, you know, the signature style of nitrates with uh, heavy rhythms and, uh, you know, ethereal melodies like we always do, you know, this is our kind of style, and I think this intro is very, very unique, like we said, it's uh, coming from uh, the other guitar player, actually, Magnus Soderman, okay. and he's uh, he did a great job on, you know, uh, putting that, uh, you know, giving that, that to us, you know. Yeah, definitely puts the melodic, you know, in the melody type thing, you know. <laughs> um, the next tune that jumped out at me was Desensitized. Love the bass work in that, a great, uh, great melody through that. Again, where I go to the melodic theme. And then the middle breakdown with that little bit of drumming going into the solo, I thought was incredible. Yeah, this is another song from Magnus, actually. Okay. And he put actually a lot of effort in this album because we work as a team well, this time, even more this time on Move to Man. Me, Ronnie, and uh, Magnus. Mm -hmm. So we are, it's like a trinity creative trinity that we work like, as a team to, to make the best songs and that song is a little bit more accessible i guess and more uh, a little bit more radio friend, friendly let's say you know mm -hmm. but still contains the the metal edge of uh, night range you right. know? we still don't want to forget that always being you know always bow to the metal uh, perspective you know? absolutely and i complimented the bass playing on that song and you broke in a new bassist and a new drummer francisco andino on this album 
Exactly. We have Francisco Escalona. He's a new bass player. And actually, on this album, he played his bass and his lines. He did a really great job. Francisco is a great friend of ours, like, actually. Mm -hmm. And we got also this new guy, Dino George Stamoglu, a new drummer, a new Greek uh, dude, a very young dude, very talented, very nice guy, hanging out together, having the best of time. The band feels a little bit more strong uh, at this point, I think. You know, I feel and it uh, shows... Uh, but you can actually hear that on the new album. Yeah, definitely. Um, next tune was God Forbid. I love the way it went from the heavy guitar into that acoustic outro. Again, it was almost like with the intro to Starless Night. This one really caught me by surprise, too. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, it's a more heavy track. Uh, again, with the signature nitrous melodies, but more groovy this time. It's a collaboration kind of uh, song between El Magnus, music-wise. Then Ronnie comes always putting his lyrics and writing his vocal melodies, and that's how actually we created our songs. But this song is in this song in particular is more, I think it's more heavy, more you know mid-tempo, more thrash metal. I mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. more old, old school thrash a little bit. Yeah, arm, aim, kill. I'm a guitar solo freak, and that solo blew me away in that song. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, we end, ended to the song with the two solos, Magnus yeah. and me. Yeah. So, yeah, we wanted to, this song is uh, actually comes uh, again from Magnus, this one. Okay. This uh, song. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a great songwriter as well. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, we're really happy to have another another great guy in the band that put a lot of his uh, ideas anyways. But that song is, uh, reminds me a little bit of the uh, uh, old uh, Nitrate sound like the first two albums a little mm -hmm. bit, that kind of vibe. And uh, yeah, we, 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 you know, we don't want to play fast all the time, you know, we want to have some grooves in there, some mid-tempo feelings, some, uh, you know, uh, so we're, we're trying to have varied the material uh, in overall, you know, going from, uh, you know, slow tempos to fast and back and forth, stuff like that. Just want to write good songs, man. That's the... That's the main focus, actually. You, know? you, you wrote some great ones for this album, Marios. And my favorite one, this is the last one I got a question on. I mean, I can ask you a question on just about each song, but trying to pare it down here. Disconnecting the Dots was probably my favorite track on the entire album. Um, that one just, just killed me from start to finish. Um, really grabbed my ear. Not that I didn't think any of the others were really, really good, too. But this one just sort of stood apart from the pack for me. Can you tell me a little bit about that one? Yeah, this one is uh, another, you know, radio friendly, let's say, not, uh, you know, I, I mean, yeah, it's a song that we wanted to have this kind of mid-tempo feeling and uh, great grooves and memorable uh, hooks and the memorable choruses mm -hmm. that people can uh, remember or sing along. And I think, we, yeah, we, this, this was our aim about that song, and I'm glad actually you you like the song and you think i heard a lot, actually a lot of people liking but in particular that song and that's that's really good to hear i think yeah this, this can be a nice song for us to play live i can uh, i can see now you yeah know? definitely definitely you put out three videos you've got a, the lyric video for wolf to man um you put out by darkness drawn and then uh the damned and i love the the visual and the damned particularly those tall buildings there's a, there's a program over here in the states that we watch called mysteries of the abandoned and they show a lot of these abandoned buildings and places and stuff all over the world and that really jumped out at me i love that where was that filmed that was filmed in Uppsala, sweden and this actually is an abandoned mine mm. that uh, nobody goes there nowadays and it's really, you know, we felt yeah maybe this is a good you know visual for our for the video and the, the things we want to uh, say about that and yeah it, it came out really good magnus evald another uh, film uh, director that we worked uh, on the puritan album did the two videos for by dr stone and the damned and uh, uh, yeah like you said we have another uh, lyric video for wolf to man mm -hmm. and another one actually coming on the third of april for another song and praise the night range another lyric, lyric video so keep your eyes open about it on our facebook page or official site Sure. Awesome. You're doing an album presentation on March 30th, then you're playing April 12th in Athens. Um, Got to be looking forward to those. Definitely. I mean, we're pretty excited. 13th of uh, uh, March, we're doing this listening party in uh, Thessaloniki, uh, Greece. 
uh, where people can listen to the album, come over, drink beers with us. We're gonna give away five CDs. Then we have, actually we have another party in uh, 6th of April in Volos City, in Greece okay. again, uh, where we're also gonna sell our merch, give away CDs, talk to the people being there, me and Dino, you know, hanging out. And right. 12th of April, we're playing in Athens. Uh, it's a festival kind of show where this is like, it's gonna be our head first headline show for the Wolf to Men uh, shows. Nice. And there's another three bands playing with us, Celestia, Evil Within, and Anthology. And I'm uh, look, looking forward to that, man. Nice. For sure. And you talk about headlining. I see you're gonna be headlining Warhorns in August up in the UK. So that's true. That's another festival we have already lined up and it's confirmed. 13th of August uh, in the UK, looking for more shows around that, of course, yeah. playing in the UK. It's a, it's a territory we need to play a lot there. And also we have uh, more uh, more confirmed shows in May, uh, supporting Cryptoxy for five days right, in I Germany and uh, Czech, uh, Czech Republic, actually. And yeah. uh, we're looking forward to that, too. You know, it's going to be awesome to play along with these uh, masters of Grindcore. You know? yeah. Cool. Yeah, I did have that one in my notes. Um, so we talked briefly, you mentioned briefly the trinity of like you, Ronnie, and, and Magnus, and then um, Dino and Francisco coming in. Does Ron, I take it Ronnie does most of the lyrics and the rest of you do the music? Does, or does everybody contribute to everything? I mean, me and Magnus mainly we're doing all the music, riffs and stuff like that. And we arrange everybody together, Ronnie, me, and Magnus, and Ronnie actually writing the lyrics and the vocal melodies on his own. Okay. So that's his own de own department, actually. And uh, he's doing great work. I mean, uh, if I imagine, I, I remember myself writing the lyrics back in the day on the older albums, but his style is more direct than mine. I used to write a little bit more poetic way, you know, poetic lyrics, stuff like that. And he's more direct in, with his messages, which is kind of cool. And we have the same kind of mindset when it comes to lyrics, so I, I really love his work and how he's uh, doing all that stuff. Cool. Speaking of back in the day, you founded the band, of course, back around 2000 with Gus G. Uh, Wolf to Man is your eighth album. You've gone through some lineup changes, some, some adversities and stuff. What keeps you going? It's my... Uh, probably it's my crocodile tenacity that, that I don't want to, you know, stop. What, no matter what happens, you know, I just want to, because I, I love what I'm doing. That's the first and foremost for me. I'm not doing this for the money or the fame, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm playing this kind of music because I really love to. And I feel now with the band members we have right now in the band, we're all the same page and we're looking for the same thing. And that's really great to have in a band, like this kind of positive environment everywhere, that everybody's working for the same goal. And I think uh, that shows on the new album and, uh, I'm, I'm actually very positive and thinking like there's more albums in us, but and the best and the best album is gonna be the next one. So I'm looking forward to that. Cool. Do you see yourself? You know, you've been in it 19 years now. You see another 19 years, still still banging them out. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, I feel personal that I'm gonna do this until I die. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It feels like uh, there's no ending on that. It's uh, you have to. To, to you know, follow that uh, path, that uh, because music is calling you for that, so mm -hmm. you, there is no turning back. And uh, as long as we feel inspired and we have something to give, and we feel that we, this is something very, this is something we want to share with our and connect with our fans, we for sure we're gonna you know uh, continue doing that. Cool. Was music something that you've had a passion for since an early age, or did you come into it a little bit later? How? Where was your musical beginnings? Where did those all start? I think it was uh, back in 83, 84, when I started to listen to metal for the first time. I listened to Maiden and Metallica and Manowar and all these great bands, uh, you know. So that made me feel inspired and uh, also I understand that this is what I want to do with my life as well. Started to write music and uh, doing my own band and learning the guitar and all that stuff. But it was, you know, it was uh, a mind-blowing experience for me the first time actually profound experience, uh, you know, moment when I heard for the first time uh, Iron Maiden and that uh, had a huge impact on me and from that day I'm, you know, I'm here, you know, I'm always trying. Yeah. <laughs> I like to ask this question because I'm so jealous of people who are able to like pick up an instrument and sort of like be able to have a knack for it and play it. Did guitar playing come easy for you or was it something you had to work at? I had to work my ass off to be honest. I, you know, 
I, I don't think I'm uh, any talented uh, Jude or something. So I need to I need to work my ass off to learn to play correctly. And I I remember myself being a, a kid, you know, and playing for ten hours per day, you know, trying to learn the instrument upside down, you know. So it, it took me took me a lot of hard work and a lot of years actually to develop my style and. Uh, come to that uh, point right now. I don't consider myself anyway a shredder or something like that, but I consider consider Nitro is like a, a a bunch of dudes that they're trying to write good songs together, you know, something yeah. like that. This is a great album. I mean, it, it just flowed nicely. Did you pay attention to sequencing the album at all? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we always think about things like that, how to connect everything, because, like I said, our main focus is songwriting. So we always make sure that everything we do the, uh, max, must uh, make sense, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, the cue, the, the, how we put the songs, the lyrics, uh, the, the artwork, the visuals, the presentations, everything must be, you know, in, uh, on the level that we want to be, you know. Cool. Album comes out once again on March 29th, I believe, over here in the States. Um, they can pre-order. I saw you had some fantastic bundles. Cause can they get it right through the Night Rage site? I think you can go, if you go to the Night Rage site, you can uh, pre-order the, the album right now because the pre-orders is going to uh, stop in 26th of March. So if you want, you can pre-order from our label. That helps a lot. Or in that case, you can order from, our, from, from us. You know, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. The band is Night Rage. The album is Wolf to Man. Talking to Marios here, and let's discuss with Lance Hall. He is the mastermind behind Night Rage, the driving force, as we say. Marios, I always like to end my interviews with just some fun, silly questions. I'm hoping these are questions maybe you've never been asked before. Sound good? No problems, man. Go for it. Uh, what is something you don't know how to do, but you've always wanted to learn how to do? That's a good question, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Let me think a little bit uh, what I wanted to do. Like, uh, well, to be, uh, uh, yeah, to be, to learn how to uh, be good in engineering a band in a studio. Okay, because yeah. Because I'm, 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 a, I'm a rookie in that sense. Mm -hmm. You know, I have, I can record myself and do stuff like that, but I, I kind of, uh, I'm jealous to other guys that they know all the patterns, they know what, what to do, how to place the microphones. All that stuff, I'm, uh, you know, I really, I would like to learn more about that and be able to do that my, myself. But I don't, maybe I don't have the time or the courage to learn that. And you know, because uh, not because I'm lazy, but because it's I have other things as priorities right now. Sure, you know? it's only so many hours in the day, you know. Given your exactly. given your choice of household chores, would you rather do dishes or the laundry? I, I rather do both. I don't mind, and I have done that actually for Night Rage. When I moved to Sweden for for permanently uh, uh, many years ago, I, that was my first job because I wanted to record the first album, Sweet Vengeance. And this, I had to take all the shitty jobs in Sweden because okay. I didn't speak the language and all the stuff. And right. you know, I, I'm uh, I'm ready for that. Uh, it's no problem for me. Work is it's a nice thing to to work for your dreams. You know, so it's no and there's no shame there. I, Okay. So people, they need to know that, that there's no shame to do any kind of job to just to follow your dream. Right, and whatever you do, do it well, you know? Um, exactly. A lot of people like to ask what the first album was you bought. I like to ask, what was the what's the most recent musical purchase you've made? I, I don't... I, it's been a while now I made a purchase online or buy a CD, but I always listening to new bands. Mm -hmm. So if you want to... What's I the newest band you've some, listened like, to? I listen to uh, Battle Beast. I listen to a song. Uh, I listen to I Prevail. I listen to uh, uh, different bands all the time. And some, I, I realize there's a lot of talent out there. You know, there's in any difference. It doesn't matter if it's on the death metal style or a power metal. Does if it's a good song, I, I I sit down and listen to it and pay attention. You know, so I listen to a, a Japanese band called Anthem. Yeah, They're amazing. You know, good stuff. amazing band. Yeah, I'm very, very, you know, very impressed from performance and uh, how they sound and all that stuff. So there's so many good bands out there. It's incredible if you think about it. You know? Absolutely. Favorite toy growing up as a child? Favorite toy? Maybe my, uh, I think it was my, 
can I see my bicycle? Sure, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Late at night and you're hungry, what do you grab for a midnight snack? I try to grab some apple because I'm, I'm a, usually I'm hungry in that the 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 wrong period of uh, of the, of uh, you know the, the wrong time of the day. So it's not good to eat uh, bad food uh, around that time. So I try to grab some yogurt or fruit or something like that. You know? okay. okay. Favorite smell? Favorite smell is my mom's food. My mom's food. Yes, that's my favorite smell. All right. All right, that'll lead me into my next one then. If you could go back in time and eat one of your mom's home-cooked meals from your youth, what would you pick? I would pick uh, stuffed peppers with rice and meat. Nice. This is the best food in the world, man. All right. And everybody in the world needs to eat that. Okay. <laughs> uh, last one, and this is the one we generally have the most fun with. If they were to make a movie of your life, what actor would you have play you in the movie? And it's your life, your movie, you can pick anybody. Um, I don't know, maybe Johnny Depp. Johnny I'm not, Depp? I'm not uh, beautiful like him, but he, maybe him. <laughs> but he's kind of weird. He's all, doing all these weird kind of movies, and I like that. Okay. He's not, never going to the commercial shit. You know, he's always doing these uh, weird characters, and I love that about him, you know. There, there's a little depth to his stuff, so. Yeah, there's something something unique about this guy. Like, he always picks the, the weird roles, and even if, he, if he's a movie star, on the highest level, but he's uh, he knows what he's doing, probably, yes. Very cool. Mario, so I want to thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me today. Once again, we've been chatting with Mario's <coughs> of Night Rage, their new album, Wolf to Man, coming out on Despo's Records, uh, March 29th. You can pre-order at the band's site. That's nightrage.com. Check out the videos on YouTube for Wolf to Man by Darkness and The Damned. I love that one, particularly the images of the buildings and then the girl dancing in it was, was awesome. Yeah, that was a, a plus. Like uh, we wanted to portray something different in in contrast with the music we are playing. I think that makes kind of a nice contrast, like yeah. a difference. Like what what is that? Like what, you know something like that makes make the people more interested. You, you know, have like darkness stuff. and delicacy there. That that was pretty cool. Was she someone a friend of yours or someone that you just hired for that video? We just hired this girl. She's very talented, and she also. Um, uh, work with us on the la on the previous album, the Venomous, on Affliction song. She's also dancing on the on the song on okay. the video there as well. Cool. So we thought like uh, we want her back because she she's amazing and she's doing this kind of uh, you know very unique kind of dancing. It's not ballet. It's something else. I don't remember that uh, how it's called, but it's very very unique what she does. It's it's like an interpretive dance almost, you know. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Something cool. like that. And remind us one more time of the next video coming out. You said on April 3rd for which song? Uh, it's a lyric video comes for Embrace the Nitrate song. Perfect. So uh, keep your eyes open about that. All right, Marios, much luck and success in the future. And uh, look forward to giving this album some more spins. Can you hear me? Yep, I, I, I lost you there for a second. Uh, sorry. I got a call, and uh, I, uh, your call was cattle for, for, for a little bit. Okay. Sorry, man. No, just looking, look, much luck and success in the future, and uh, looking forward to just uh, keep on playing this album. It's great, great stuff. Thanks, thanks a lot, bro, and I uh, appreciate the uh, fact that uh, you gave us a chance to talk about it, about the album, new album. I want to say a uh, big thanks to you, and also big greetings, and a big greetings to all our fans there, and uh, we love them all and can't wait to see them. You know, uh, hopefully in our forthcoming shows, uh, go and support Nitrates, buy the new album, listen to the new album, uh, steal it or buy it, whatever you want to do. And uh, always remember that man is wolf to man. Thank you very much. Take care, Marios. Bye. Bye, bye, -bye. bro. Bye, church man. Thank you.